there's a big storm coming and it'll be here shortly so I thought I might come out here and pick a few of these Smith figs I picked one the other day it was delicious but my battery crashed on me and so now before that storm hits oh there's a really 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 there's a nice right one right there wow hmm. another really right one right there let's tear into one of these best i can whoa that's thick skinned oh wow that's pretty That is gorgeous. Smith. I believe it's the 21st, the 22nd of July. Maybe the 22nd. That's a beauty. Might as well give it a taste before that storm over there comes over here. Mmm. Hmm. Well, you know, I've got to say <laughs> that that's a very unique flavor. The one I picked the other day was really, really ripe. Also, I have to say that this, the reputation of this fig precedes it. And I think fairly so. Um, this is a great one. I will never <laughs> remove this from my collection. Uh, I I love the, the I love the tree. It grows vigorously. It's so productive. It's beautiful. It's disease free. It's vibrant and alive. And well, this tree is only a year and a half old it was a cutting last spring it's, it's it's hard to imagine it's 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 seven foot tall at least it's it's taller and the fig is delicious so those people that have espoused the delectability of this particular variety were not wrong this is a good one this is better than the fig i had two days ago another bite it's creamy it it could maybe have a little bit more sugar because i like my figs to have the right sweetness but not really. <laughs> it's sweet enough. It's just right. It's delectable. It's jammy. This, here. Let me, take, let me pick another one. I see there's another one that's right too. A couple getting ripe over here. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, that one's even riper than the one I just picked. Wow. I better save one for my wife. Beautiful tree. Beautiful, unique leaves. I am very impressed. I, I highly, highly recommend this variety. This variety doesn't need my endorsement. It's been endorsed by many others. I have to say, I'm, I'm not disappointed, though. I'm more impressed today than the other day. Let me try and break this open. They're thick-skinned, and I like that. I like a thick-skinned fig. Some people don't. They like the thin. I don't. I like thick skin. I love the taste of a, of a skin. Very often, the skin can really embellish the flavor of the flesh when they are 
very compatible with one another. Complimentary. This is, to me, I love the skin. I love the flesh. I love the flavor. I love the texture. I'm, I'm happy that there's some seed crunch. I love seed crunch. Some people don't. I love it. I've been eating a lot of Canadria lately. There's plenty here. They're very good. They're not as good as this. I can tell you right now. <laughs> There's not many figs that are better than this Smith. This is this has quickly taken a, a very high place <laughs> in my rating. Let me gobble this up. I don't know. Maybe I should share this too. I think I will. Let me put it down a little bit here. My wife will love that fig. Her favorite is Peter Honey. Peter's Honey is her favorite for flavor. And it's a close first for me, too. I like Rondi Bordeaux and Peter's. And there's others that I like a lot. But I have to say, this Smith, it, it deserves a very, very high ranking. And, and the other day... Wow, that storm's coming. The other day, I... It was... It was uh, Italian 258 and Genovese Nero. I tasted both of those. They were, to me, they were ripe on the exact same day. I believe they are the exact same fig. That's my opinion. And I'm very, very sure about it, personally. Here comes that wind. Uh-oh. It's coming. Oh, this is a Rondi Bordeaux. I'm going to... There we go. Wow. I love these Rondi Bordeaux. They're just, they're just delicious treats. They're all so good. Mm. Wow, that's ominous. Well, I was saying about Italian 258. It was delicious. It was Briba. And I have to say that it was one of the best tasting Briba I've ever eaten. I rate it up there really high, maybe number one in flavor of any Briba I've ever eaten, followed by maybe Peter's Honey and then Negroni. Negron. This is this is yellow long neck, which is getting ripe simultaneously to the day, practically, with Golden Riverside, Ben's Golden Riverside, or what they call now Golden Rainbow, which got ripe yesterday or the day before. And I'm doing a comparison, which I will report later. But for now, I better get in the house. I believe we're going to have some very, very strong winds very, very shortly. All right. Put my figs in the greenhouse for some shelter against the wind. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Maybe not too short. Oh, there's another wonderful ripe Rondi Bardot. Gosh, I better save that too. Well, thanks for watching. very very good news for me I am not disappointed in Smith I am overjoyed and the people that preceded my trial with this fig they did a they did a fine job it surely is a keeper and since it's only the 21st or 22nd of July, it's pretty obvious that this tree can be made to be ripened very close to the solstice. And certainly when it's still very, very warm, warm nights, 
in the hot days of summer. It's a great variety. Uh oh. Goodbye, everyone. Wish me a little luck here. I'm going to need it.